In less than two years from now, EVE Air Mobility aims to have its four-passenger EVATOL aircraft certified and ready to start commercial operations. There's a lot of work to be done, but the company is taking some steps in the right direction. At EVE's facility in Brazil, Sao Paulo State, engineers recently started ground tests on the pusher propeller at the rear of the all-electric aircraft. This drives the cruise phase of flight for trips of up to around 60 miles. The lift and cruise design also has eight wing-mounted propellers to provide vertical lift during takeoffs and landings. A lot of work goes into setting up all the test equipment before the EVE engineering team can start the electric motor that drives the pusher propeller. This test is a part of the path towards the flight test campaign of EVE's engineering prototype. The pusher is an electric motor equipped with propellers installing the tail of the aircraft, responsible for the displacement and increasing speed during cruise flight. This test consists of the first run of the pusher carry out at low speed to check the engine's performance and the communication between the pusher inverters and the remote pilot station. Furthermore, the purpose is to verify that the pusher inverters were properly installed on the aircraft and are operating as designed. While much of the focus at EVE is on developing the EVE at all, the company, which is majority owned by aircraft manufacturer Embraer, firmly believes that this new mode of air transportation will only be possible with a fully developed ecosystem. So it's recruiting partners around the world to jointly develop plans for vital infrastructure, such as vertiports. Companies like Revo, Helisol, Halo and Blade, which are all looking to diversify their helicopter fleets, have been conducting joint projects with EVE in locations like Brazil, the US and the UK. They're preparing the way for the start of air taxi services. And these efforts include determining how EVE's vector air traffic management system would support operations in busy urban airspace. The path to getting so-called advanced air mobility up and running is requiring really large investments and thousands of skilled staff to join up all the dots. The large number of startups and well-established legacy aerospace companies with skin in this game seems to be diminishing as capital runs out. But EVE is holding its own among the leaders and says it now has provisional sales commitments for almost 3,000 aircraft that could be operated by around 30 different operators in 12 countries. Well, if this is the sort of aviation development that you've got an appetite for, we're covering these stories all the time at AIN's Future Flight platform. You'll find more videos like this if you keep coming back to AINonline.com. Thank you for watching. <laughs>